What's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Latanja, a.k.a. LK. I am going to be on the Prosperity Show today talking to you guys about setting up business systems, policies, procedures, and some cute, quick tips and tricks on how to make your business more automated. I cannot wait to talk to you guys. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, we've got the process queen herself, Latanya. Latanya, how are you doing today? I am very well, Prosper. Thank you for having me. Fantastic. Now, I had to drag Latanya out because I believe what she does, especially for the female entrepreneurs out there, because her mission is to help um, entrepreneurs like yourself to set up reliable and luc lucrative businesses. Our mission is to help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, Latanja's work helps you uh, to start utilizing effective processes and develop strategies, procedures, and policies in and around your business. Not only will this make your business efficient, but you will actually start enjoying working in it. Now, did I say any of that correctly there, Latanja? You hit the nail on the head right there, Prosper. Um, you did good. <laughs> Fantastic. It's been, it's been years uh, following you through and really trying to figure out how you help people. And that's the reason why we've got you on the show today. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started in this whole um, business. Well, honestly, I have been doing this for many years now um, within my profession. Um, I have an international business degree um, and I also literally was in the United States Army. So all of my stuff has step-by-step -step processes. And I have to thank the military for that structure um, because they really set me on the mission to have reliable and um, reliable and step-by-step -step processes um, in order to make sure that our unit did the mission the way it was supposed to be run. So I got really, really, really obsessed with it when I became a project manager at Home Depot. And that is where I knew I wanted to do it for online entrepreneurs, especially after I got pregnant with my first son. Um, I wanted to be home. I wanted to be a mom. I wanted to be a wife. And I also wanted to be a business owner, but I wanted to do it on my own terms. And I wanted to do it as something that I loved. And I actually started out as a virtual assistant. Um, and that is what opened this world of online entrepreneurs for me. And I just was so nosy. I was all up in people's business, okay? I wanted to know more. I just didn't wanna be the VA anymore. I wanted to know how they were doing what they were doing, how these women were setting their businesses up. How were they keeping track of their kids and their home life and their business? And that's when I got into building systems, automation, and policies and procedures for businesses. And I love what I do. Understandable. Well, first of all, thank you so much for your service and congratulations on the little kids that you have, um, you know, seem to have brought into this world. Now, with the military, the military brought with it a lot of structure. How is that lesson viable and vital for um, women in business right now? It's very vital. Um, discipline is like the number one thing in entrepreneurship for sure. And the military definitely teaches that. I mean, it's very structured and disciplined. And without that foundation, I don't think I could have done it. Honestly, it's the hardest thing that I've ever had to do besides become a mother. It's entrepreneurship. And that's just not for women, but that's for everybody. Um, if you don't have discipline, you're not going to make it in this round because Everything happens on your time. You have to be the one to push it forward. And if you don't have the discipline and make it a responsibility, make it a priority in your life, then the chances of you succeeding in entrepreneurship is slim to none. I mean, let's just be serious. <laughs> Understandable. Well, obviously, discipline is one of the biggest skills that you can, first of all, learn. And second of all, it helps you stay true to yourself, your values, and those that you're going to be serving. Now, when you work with a business, and um, you did mention that um, your business is other people's business, um, where you ended up becoming too nosy 
and you then crafted your own niche. Tell us what it is that you actually help people with. And let's say somebody knocks on your door today and says, uh, Latanya, can you help me? What is, what is the one thing that you help them with? Their foundation. Basically, I am the foundation. I help them find out the problem areas in their business. I go through a very um, systematic business audit of their business, and I'm getting into all of it. I want to know your finances. I want to know your goals. I want to know what systems you're using now, why they're failing you. I want to know what tools you're using, why they're failing you. Um, and I really want to get the nitty gritty into what your business is about, you know, um, how long they've been in business, because that tells me. You know, if they're keeping up with the trends, if they're keeping up, you know, because there is trends in business, you know, just like fashion. Um, and are they staying up to date with all the technology that's coming out on a regular basis? Um, it's my job to be the nosy auntie that comes in and knocks on their business door and say, hey there, you know, what's going on here? And I help them set up their foundation meaning their systems, their policies, their procedures, their standard operating procedures, and their automation to help it run smoothly without them. Because sometimes we have to tend to the children. Sometimes we have that soccer practice. So our business doesn't stop when we're sleeping, right? As you know, our business doesn't stop, you know? And sometimes we have other responsibilities, but our business has to keep rolling. And that's how the automations allow us to be able to be mom, wife, entrepreneur, you know, and still keep, you know, yourself tidied up and showered and stuff like that. <laughs> Understandable. Um, <clears throat> I remember at some point, um, my wife was actually really happy that she had both her legs shaved at the same time because my little kid, my little girl had not allowed her to do that for quite a while. And I didn't realize that was something that was, she got proud of. So yeah, kudos. And, and um, here's to all the women that are, you know, out there uh, trying to raise a family and also run a business at the same time. I know it's not easy, um, but yeah, here's, here's, to, here's to every one of the ladies that's uh, doing it out there. Now, what sort of frustrations do your prospects sort of have before they have, um, you know, come around to you? What are they going through in their business right now? Because some people might not realize that what they're doing is actually a kafafel, you know? And um, yeah, so when people come to you, what, what would have happened within their business that you can fix? They're not bringing in the clients that they want. They're not keeping clients. Um, a lot of the times they're not, their onboarding system is off and they don't understand why. Um, and their offboarding system is off. They don't understand why they can't find their client's files or where is everything that they're hosting. And a lot of times they're, they're spending too much money on courses or tools that they're not even utilizing correctly. Um, and so it's also about saving them money and making sure that they know the ins and outs of the tools and the systems that they have. And a lot of them don't even have systems set up. They just have tools and think they're the same thing, and they're not. Systems and tools are completely different things. Systems have to be in place before you can implement a tool. And a lot of people, I don't think they're understanding that. Understandable. You've raised a valid point there about people just consuming, consuming courses and not implementing or purchasing and purchasing tools, but not really implementing them as systems and they end up gathering, um, you know, digital dust. So what sort of recommendation do you have for when somebody is in that technical overwhelm and they can't seem to, um, yeah, like we said about my wife, have their both legs shaved at the same time? Well, my number one tip to business owners is to take a step back. Um, if they don't have a business plan, that's the number one failure. Um, they have to have some sort of plan to know where they're moving forward to. Um, in order to have a system, you have to have a plan, right? So I suggest stepping back in your business and actually realizing what your business plan is what are your goals for your business? And then sit down and go through each one of your tools, each one of your systems, if you have any, because a lot of them find out that they don't even have systems once they do that step back. And then write each one step by step. So I'm gonna give you an example. 
for me, if my job is to bring on clients into my business, well, I need to take a step back and see what my onboarding process looks like. What is the process of my onboarding process? You know, do you have a phone call first? Do you reach out on social media first? Do you have a canned email that you send out that's already prepared and ready to go for those prospects? You know, it's all about the process and the system and stepping back for a moment and asking yourself, what is it that I'm trying to help people with? And what are my goals for this business? And then you can start implementing systems and then tools and then policies and procedures. Great stuff. Wow, this is very profound. Right now, maybe somebody's just, you know, hanging in the audience and is really wondering how can I get a hold of uh, Latanya so that you can, you know, straighten their business and be nosy uh, together with them. How can people get a hold of you? So you can reach me at LKXX. That is my Facebook page. You can book a new appointment there. You can also come into my free group, which is Virtual Newbies. We have over 2,000 members there. And I'm always in there talking about how to build systems and policies and procedures. Or you can visit me on my website and book an appointment there at www.lkxx.com. Understandable. Right. So you, I will be putting in all that um, information, you know, um, for, for our valid viewers in the show notes. Now you keep referring to <clears throat> tools. Some people might think, you know, having Zoom like this as a tool, having Chrome as a uh, search bar is a tool. What, what other tools can you sort of recommend that people have in order to be doing and have a business that's, um, you know, systematic and is, you know, easy for them and they can enjoy working in it? Yeah, so if you are a product-based business, Definitely having a website or a place where people can purchase your items, even if it's on social media, like Instagram now is a big one where people are purchasing things, making sure they have a simple, easy process to click and pay. You're not sending them to different you know, places. It's one site that they can go to and click pay. And if you are a service-based industry, one of the tools that I definitely recommend would be having a a tool like a scheduling system, so Acuity or um, Vesita, those places, so that people can book, you know, that time with you, and you can also attach that with your Google or whatever, you know, type of email that you use. I love Google Suites. I tell everybody the number one tool to have are, is Google Suites because it has everything in one. Um, it has all of your emails. It also um, comes together with Chrome, and I love my Chrome extensions. Um, it also allows you to have you know, your Google Sheets, your Google Docs, your, hang, you know, Google Hangouts. So you're not having to purchase Zoom to begin with, right? Because Zoom is a separate expense. More when you're making more money, you can, you know, buy um, tools like Zoom, right? Because that is another, you know, you know, budget-based system. But for free, for $5 a month, you can go to Google Suites and use Google Hangout until you start bringing in income because it's $5 a month and you already have all of those systems in one. So definitely check out Google Suites as one prominent tool to start if you're just starting your business. And a good note-taking app. I love Wonderlist. It's one of my favorite. Also, Evernote, I'm a huge fan. And they also collaborate with Chrome extensions. So they integrate with Chrome extensions, which is, I can't speak enough about Chrome extensions. <laughs> Literally, I have a Chrome extension up connected to my Google. And basically, I have my daily tasks. So in the mornings, my wonder list pops up on my email because I check my email three times a day. And so one of the first things that I see on my wonder list is to check your email. So once I check that off, I, it's right there in my email. I'm not having to go to different websites. I'm not having to log in and out. That Chrome extension pops up and integrates with my Google email. And I'm there to see what daily task I have for the day. And I check those out constantly without having to maneuver and add screens and have 50 different um you know internet browsers up at a time because you know we, you know we do it you know you do it too 
<laughs> so it's all about integrating and making life easier for yourself. Wow. Okay. I was, I was taking a lot of notes and I think maybe pretty much after the show, you know, you can just give me a, <laughs> a quick refresher on what uh, Chrome extensions to actually utilize and, and put it all together. This has been so great. Um, one other thing you did mention your love for Chrome extensions. Can you just give us maybe a couple that you, you utilize that, you know, <laughs> actually make your job easier? Yes, absolutely. So I am a Trello user. I don't know if you've ever heard of the tool Trello, yeah, Trello. but I have a Trello tool Chrome extension and I absolutely love it. It allows Trello to be there when I need it. If I need to add something to my board, I can just click on my extension and it adds it right from the website that I'm on. Without is- going without going to the Trello website and wow. Exactly. Exactly. Um, like I was telling you, Wonderlist is a big one for me because it does hold all of my daily tasks in there. And so I literally just look, open my Gmail. <laughs> exactly. See, you could be taking those digitally, having it that backup right there. And so it literally pops up. I also have a break. Um, it's called, um, what is it called? I love this break app because it allows me to take my breaks. Um, It's called break time. That's what it's called. Of course, it's called break time. And it pops up and it tells me when I need to take breaks in between my work um, so that I can get up and dance, get up and exercise. You know how it is working from home, always sitting at your desk. I always recommend getting that blood flowing through those veins and getting up. And I set up my break time and it pops up. It will completely bring your screen blank and yeah, blank. And it will put a timer on there for however long you want it to be. So whether it's three minutes, five minutes, 30 minutes, and then after the time it opens your screen back up and back to work you go. So I definitely love that Chrome extension. It's one of my favorites. (laughs) And let's see, the last one I will mention would be my Evernote. Listen, I don't know if anybody knows about Evernote, but that's the best note-taking tool on earth. (laughs) (laughs) Are they paying you? Latanya, are they paying you? Because we can't use this platform for you to peddle um, other people's processes. (laughs) If Evernote is out there listening, honey, you need to pay me. (laughs) (laughs) I wish they were paying me. But no, it literally is because it allows you to organize your notes, especially if you're like an author or you're someone who does funnels for a living, you know, automation funnels, then definitely be able to keep all your notes in one notebook. And then it clips like articles from websites for you and put them in different notebooks. It clips, it does screen clips. I mean, it clips entire websites entire websites okay can be put in its own notebook so it's an amazing tool because it has all of that stuff all in one and i'm a mac user so i have to hit shift command and four in order to do a screenshot to me that's like already too much all i have to do is hit my chrome extension for evernote and it literally it just clicks the whole screen for me and saves it in the notebook that i wanted to go in so my life is already easier so i am a huge fan of an evernote chrome extension definitely check that one out <laughs> understandable and if we have the marketing department for evernote please take notes <laughs> great stuff. so obviously all of this makes uh, people's jobs simple easy and they've got scheduling apps that they can utilize and they can um literally have these chrome extensions doing their job so that their businesses are profitable and enjoyable I can't thank you enough for all the value that you've just dropped in on this show today. I'm probably going to have to cut you off just in case we're going to have a lot of endorsement um, lawsuits going on here Um, (laughs) because some other Chrome extensions are going to be like, why didn't you mention us? But you're using us too, you know, that has been so um, fun, uh, you know, for us having you on the show today. And if you're watching this, Um, video right now I urge you to subscribe because information like this you would have to pay um, people like Latanya to actually divulge and uh, let you know how to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable in the meantime thank you so much 
for your time, um, your expertise, and your knowledge that you've just dropped on this show today. And yeah, hope to see you in the future again when you've got new projects or new babies you want to present on the show. Absolutely. I would love to come back on and show all of my beautiful babies now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. So I use that as my insurance. If people don't watch this show, we know why, right? <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. All right. So let me know when you're ready.